Hey, how's it going and welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today we've got a 28 year old Tormor, uh, Tormor, that sounded very posh, Tormor um, from Thompson Bros. Uh, a lovely label, uh, I'm actually infatuated with that label. Uh, I think it's so cool, it kind of represents the uh, the hedges around the distillery which are, are cut in such a, a fashion, they're cut to look like a pot still. Uh, but anyway, we'll get down to the whiskey. Um, the price, it's it was £185 a bottle, which is very pricey. Um, and I know not everybody will be forking that out for, for bottles, but uh, I, I wanted to review it uh, to let people who maybe can't experience it, um, experience it through me. So it's I'm pretty sure it's a refill hoggy. Uh, it's 47.3% ABV, non-chill filtered, no added colouring. Um, and I acquired this from the Good Spirits Company. Uh, they'd put it on their website. This was selling out quite fast. Uh, they'd put it on their website and they hadn't put a picture along with it. Uh, so I think that's maybe why it wasn't selling um, selling out because there was no picture. So people didn't really know uh, what it actually was. But anyway, there's 252 bottles. Uh, and yeah, we'll get down in the review. We'll see if it's a whiskey win or a whiskey bin. Um, bearing in mind of that price as well. Quite a... Um, quite a high price point for a whiskey. There's this this pineapple funk uh, on the nose. A little bit of a kind of Dunnage feel, a Dunnage element to it. Some of those chewy fruit salad sweets you get. I can't remember who makes them. It might be Bassett or some some company like that. A little bit of dry hay and a little bit of a prick on the nose there. And it does take its take its time to reveal itself. I've had this sitting in the glass for a while and I've I've, I've taken notes on this one. I, I've, I've explored it. I've uh, delved into it quite deep. But yeah, dry hay for sure. It's, yeah, it's like the hay bales in a, in a farm and a field. Um, currently, I believe the farmers are, are rolling up their hay. Um, so it's it's quite prominent in my in my uh, experience, or in the foreground in my memories, because uh, we've been walking the dog round farm uh, areas, <laughs> uh, and there's a lot of hay bales. A little bit of an earthiness, uh, which I would tie together with like a, a leather aspect, and some mango. Yeah, that that pineapple funk mango. Um, oh, it's actually a fantastic nose. Don't get me wrong, it takes a while to get into. There's no way you're smelling this straight off the bat. You're you're gonna have to take your time. You're gonna have to really explore it. That's that's how I've got these notes. I've in no way just got this first time or anything like that. These have been well constructed, well thought. Um it's a it's a whiskey that kind of demands that. It demands a little bit more of you. Anyway, the palette. Mm. <laughs> mm. God, I love this whiskey. <laughs> Such a thick, um, creamy mouthfeel. Lovely, lovely mouthfeel. A little bit of tea there. Uh, there's a little bit of kind of stewed fruits. Um, yeah, yeah, cooked stewed fruits. The the palate is just the palate's outstanding. The nose is amazing, but really the palate here. Um, there's a mineral chalk like feel uh, after that that kind of creaminess um, a bit little voluptuous after that there comes as this mineral uh, chocolate element uh, but I'd also like to say there's like a real waxiness to this just to start with um, it starts waxy it starts creamy it starts thick and then it, it slowly um, evolves and transforms into this kind of chalky mineral feel uh, with those stewed fruits as well, honestly, really nice. Um, such a great palate. I'm going to get another another sip of this here. Possibly some some vanilla there. Um, it's a little. There's a little bitter element. Uh, I, I don't know what I'd link that to. Um, but maybe something like something from the oak. Uh, something oaky. Something. A little dry, a little bitter, uh, but really fantastic. The the, the stewed fruits, the, the, the mouthfeel is what really carries this this palate. Um, and it's definitely there on the finish anyway, but I won't get ahead of myself. 
also some uh, citrus elements uh, on the palate. There's yeah, there's a, a fresh kind of sharp fruits. Um, although the the nose has got this this dunnage um, element, there's not really much of that in the the palate. Maybe other than the the kind of oak, the wood. Mm. It's just a fantastic palate, really nice. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's anything else I can say. I, I'm just, it kind of blows me away the 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 experience of it. It's just all round, all together, um, a great experience. The the finish is just this this mouth feel is just it's constant. It's it's continuing. It's long. Um, it's it's there. It's creamy. Uh, once again, that word, that voluptuous, it's it's creamy in the mouthfeel, uh, it's creamy in the, the, the finish, with lots of uh, kind of vanilla coming through, for sure, there's there's vanilla in the finish, there's there's lemon peel, um, there's a bit of, there's a bit of this kind of lingering fruit, uh, possibly from the, 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 the stewed fruits, um, but yeah, there's, there's lingering lingering fruits uh, in the finish and it's it's forever evolving I feel this is quite a, a progressive dram uh, or maybe not progressive maybe that's not the right word it's just ever changing it's uh, it's, it's constantly changing uh, and I'm really enjoying it uh, I'll see if I can get anything else in the palette hmm. or the finish <laughs> there is that that wood element coming through um, from the palette to the finish uh, and it's now more like a what would that be it's more like a kind of i'd want to say like a a, a newly um a newly kind of shaved bit of wood or something like that uh yeah maybe like a cask that's just been shaved uh, or something along those lines something like planing a, a bit of wood um i think i've said planing before and in, in the terms of uh kind of woodworking um, so yeah, something like that, kind of a little bit of uh, chipboard, almost a little bit of new chipboard, I don't know, uh, something along those lines. Anyway, we'll get down to the rate and uh, I think you know what it's going to be. So do I think this is worth it? It's a 28 year old Tormor, which I've not had a lot of Tormor. Um, I know other 28 year old whiskies would probably be, or would probably demand a higher price point. Uh, thinking of like maybe spring banks and things like that. I know this is an independent bottle, um, but even independently bottled twenty eight year olds, uh, I think this is fairly priced for what it is. <laughs> uh, in all honesty, like a, a forty seven point three percent ABV, uh, non chill filtered, no added colouring, uh, twenty eight year old Tormor, a, a, a distillery we don't get a lot of uh, interaction with from official bottlings. Uh, so I think it's something quite. Uh, unique in a, in a sense, something quite magical, something uh, that old, that age uh, from Tormor, I think it's, it's especially uh, unique, so I would say it is worth it, I think it is worth the £185, and that's a lot of money, um, but yeah, for some reason that the, the experience and everything to do with this is just, yeah, I, I, I would say it's worth it. Would I buy it again? I would. <laughs> uh, I would, I would buy another bottle of this, I am enjoying it loads. Uh, it's tasty, I love everything about it, I love the label, I want to make sure, I mean, Dornock's label, Thompson Bros labels are normally good, uh, KMG, yeah, and uh, all the all the other artists that are involved, uh, but this, for some reason, just especially uh, kind of strikes a chord with me, um, and it's a label I'll be keeping. So yeah, I would definitely want to buy it again. If I could get it for cheaper on the auction, that'd be amazing, I'm not sure what it goes for on the auction, uh, but I would like a bottle of this again, it's... What the palate is easy drinking for all that's uh, ever evolving in that the the nose is more the challenging aspect the more the demanding uh, of your time of your patience but you could just drink this it's it's very drinkable um, and would I recommend it yeah a hundred percent I've gave this out to a couple people uh, I've I've gave it out as much as I can and I'll I'll continue to give it out until it's dead. Um, but I might keep a little bit left for me just at the end of to myself. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a whiskey win. I hope you've enjoyed the review. I really like this whiskey. Uh, 
I don't know, I, yeah, I just really like this whiskey. It's so waxy, so creamy. Um, I think you can tell by the smell on my face just how much I'm enjoying it. Uh, so thanks for watching. I've been Stuart. This has been Whiskey Wims. I'll see you later.